Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic in our Reflections at Christmas series is Born to Die. And our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Matthew chapter 1 and verse 21. She will give birth to a son and you shall name him Jesus. The Lord is salvation for he will save his people from their sins. A joyful and glorious Christmas to you all, my three minute audio devotional family. I'm so glad we are alive to see this day. All glory to the almighty God. Today we round up our mini series on the reflections at Christmas. Our anchor scripture was spoken by an angel of God to Joseph about Mary, his fiancée. That scripture was speaking about the child Jesus who was to be born. Jesus, the scripture tells us, was born to save his people from their sin. That was the purpose of his birth. Now, how was Jesus able to save anyone? By dying on the cross. So, Jesus was born to die. As you celebrate in this season, I call you to reflect on this if you have not already done so. The only reason Jesus was born was for him to die to save you and I from our sin. The Bible is clear that the wages of sin is death. The penalty for every single person living was supposed to be death because we have all been tainted by sin at some point in our lives. But everyone will eventually die, I hear someone say. No, not everyone will die the death the Bible calls the second death. You see, the real us is our spirit. Our spirits are housed in our bodies. When our bodies due to sickness or trauma or weakness can no longer sustain our spirits, our spirits leave our bodies. This is called death as we know it on the earth. But our spirits don't actually die. The death Jesus came to save us from is another type of death. Death doesn't, the word death doesn't actually do that phenomenon justice because that death is eternal torment. The Bible says that in this second death, men will be conscious and they will be in deep, indescribable torment forever. Jesus was born to die so that you do not have to experience this torment when your body no longer sustains your spirit. As we celebrate Christmas today, we are celebrating Jesus' birth, but we are also celebrating the reason for his birth, which is his death. So, I encourage you, if you have never been born again, if you have never considered and accepted what Jesus did for you on the cross, I beg you, there is no better time. The enemy is giving the false impression that we have so much time, but we don't. I read somewhere that if you are born once, you will die twice. But if you are born twice, you will die only once. So please be born again. Accept Jesus. Believe in what he did for you on the cross. Accept him as your savior and allow him guarantee you an eternity free from torment and filled with the bliss of the constant presence of God. Today is the day of salvation. Accept Jesus and allow Christmas to have a truer meaning than it has ever had to you. Please say this prayer with me. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word this morning. Today, Lord, I choose to surrender my life to you. I accept Jesus' finished work on the cross. I believe and confess that Jesus died to take away my sin. Thank you because by this decision, I have been transitioned from death to life. Help me to walk in the spirit as I begin this journey. Thank you, Father, for the privilege to be born again. Receive all the glory, almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Merry Christmas once again. Speak to you again soon. If you were blessed, please drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.